Good morning everyone. It is 8.02 on Sunday morning and it is basically at the start of the second week of my school holiday. So it is, we have two weeks of school holidays and the first week was obviously filled with a lot of different beach days and sea world and cedar creek and everything. So if you haven't seen those go check out part one and part two of weekly vlog 14 and this is obviously weekly vlog 15. I'm not sure how many parts it's going to be because today me and my family are leaving to go to Fraser Island for I actually have no idea how many nights but it's Sunday today and we're leaving on Friday so pretty much a whole week almost. Um, but yeah basically I live in Brisbane and Fraser Island is like four to four to five hours away only because we drive to Harvey Bay which is four hours up the coast and I'll show you like a little map if I can figure out how to do that. So we drive to Harvey Bay this morning which is why we're leaving at eight so we get there at lunchtime and then you catch like a barge so you can take your car over to Fraser Island and I don't know how long that takes so that's why I'm saying like four or five hours but I know it takes about four hours to drive to Harvey Bay from here. And we're going to do that this morning, but we're actually staying in Harvey Bay tonight because mum and dad thought that if there was traffic or anything and we had to, because you have to book to get on the barge, obviously, so you can take your car and all your stuff over. Um, so they booked that for Monday morning because if they booked it this morning and then we drove and there was like traffic or something, we'd miss it. So we're staying in Harvey Bay tonight just to be sure that we get straight on because obviously the dock is in Harvey Bay to get over because it's like aligned in line. I know it's like horizontally across from Prades Island so that's what's going on today um I don't think I have much else to tell you before we go it's just that we're about to get in the car for four hours and I'll see you when we get to Harvey Bay gosh for once I'm ready before Amy what is this are you still packing doll I'm just in my oh. well it's eight o'clock we're supposed to be going usually I'm the one being yelled at because we have to go <laughs> <laughs> what so we're not actually supposed to leave right now what are we supposed to leave what someone told me to leave at eight and they said 7.30 for me because I'd take too long. But really is it 8.30 and I was told... Through debate over the time. So what time are we supposed to leave? Around 8. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm renowned in this family for being late and being not ready. I like to point out the time. It's like a couple minutes past 8. Okay, it's 9 minutes past 8. I was ready to walk out the door. What time are we supposed to actually leave? Uh, in real time. Not early time. 8.30. 8.30 you reckon? Because then Ellie might be ready on time. Oh my god. So my family always joke about how I run on like a different time schedule and that I always think I have way more time than I actually do and that I'm way quicker at doing things. So I never leave enough time to ever like get myself ready to go anywhere. Like I swear I think I was late to Eat Street last week. I definitely was late to Eat Street last week. I think we are running late to SeaWorld. But yeah. We missed the train to SeaWorld actually, like the first train we were going to get on. Not that it mattered, but like we were going to get on the first train, we missed it. What else did I, I literally am late for everything. So <laughs> literally even last night when, I can't remember what we were doing last night, but Dad said, okay, we're leaving at 8, so like 7.30 for Ellie, and like as a joke, because like I know I need extra time. So I got up at 7 because I knew we were actually leaving at 8, but like I would get ready in time. And this is the first time they've actually tricked me and that we're not leaving until 8.30. What the heck? I did not know this. It's probably because we can't check in or something at Harvey Bay. Should have looked into this more. I've been tricked. Anyway, I'll just sit here until 8.30 until we have to leave. So this is our lovely apartment right there. And this is the ocean. And I've left the vlogging camera in the room by accident. This is Dad. Um... So I'm vlogging on my phone for now, but we unpacked just then. Not really, because it's not. We're only there for one night. But um, now we're walking down the street because we're on the main street to 
get lunch because I only took three hours. I was told it took four hours to drive here. I've been lied to so many times today. It only took three hours to get here, so we're here like at lunchtime and we're going to get lunch. humble abode your bum is in the camera welcome we bought way too many groceries for like five days whatever it is but it's fine hello 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 welcome welcome to the what is it a two-bedroom villa yep at where where are we kingfisher island. no but like kingfisher, kingfisher, bay. Oh, yeah, kingfisher, bay resort. kingfisher bay resort very nice okay to begin the official two-bedroom villa room tour villa tour we start in the outdoors because we have such a big deck i feel like this is such an aussie like deck what's it called setting an outdoor setting we've got really big comfy chairs and the best view of the ocean out there and we actually have like two separate parts of deck we have this part and then this little part which has like another door so i'm gonna go in this door because it's like the main entry to our villa with the lounge room, the first thing you see when you walk in. With three lounges, which is really good. Or oh, a chair and like two lounges. And that kitchen with mother and all of her groceries. We have so much food. Amazing. And this lovely painting and table and chairs. I like this one too. It's my pretty. And they've got lots of little beachy things around. Let me go upstairs. It's like an actual house in here. If I go upstairs, I don't actually really know what's up here. Hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> this is a, oh, this is a bathroom. I was trying to find the light. It's the middle one. Oh, is it just one bathroom? Like, this yeah. is the a men bathroom. Very nice. Very nice. I like that we have a bath. Okay, this cute little seashell decor. That's not a seashell, that's starfish. Oops. First thing we see is mine and Amy's room. What is, I assume, yep. We've already put our stuff in here. Oh, we've got a little desk, that's so cute. Oh, Amy's already plugged in and ready to go. <gasps> Aircon, oh, oh no way. <gasps> oh my God, there's a deck. How do I get there? Why are there so many decks? Oh, there's a road up there, hello. 
it's so bushy and like tranquil i love it that's the next villa that's our neighbors over there i'm pretty sure but yeah this is our little room desk two beds oh a mirror that's very handy oh and a wardrobe oh i can't open it because my suitcase is there but that's fine then we come over here the next thing you see is a mum and dad's room welcome 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 oh you have a desk too yours is bigger very nice it is hot, but we have aircon, how good. And how do you get onto this deck out here? What? Oh, that's the door I walked past. Oh. This just looks like it would be like a storage room or something. Oh, that's a bit sneaky. Wow, very nice. Hmm. Lovely. Now if we step back inside, cupboard. Oh, and oh, oh my god, we have a laundry. Honestly, who does washing on holidays? But cute, we have a laundry. Very nice. Very good. Okay, so it's like 3.30 and now, and we're just walking down to the pool for the first time. I mean, I'm not sure where it is. I don't think, well, I don't know where it is. Mum's coming. She's just closing up our little veranda. And of course I'm wearing one of my Zaffel bikinis. I don't know if I showed you that very well. It's so glary. I can't see what I'm actually filming. But we'll head down to the pool and I'll show you guys what it's like. So it's like 5.30 now and I've just spent the last couple of hours lying by the pool. I didn't actually get in which is why my hair is dry because it was kind of cold and the sun was setting so there wasn't a lot of sun and like the water was not very warm at all. But I'm changed now because we're actually going to get dinner just like at a casual little bar thing at the resort I think. So I'm wearing the same top I've been wearing all day. It's like this boob tube from City Beach. And it's like a pale pink colour in real life, but in this it just looks like it's blending into my skin because I don't have a tan on. And I've got these shorts from <clears throat> Universal, my denim jacket from Princess Polly, and my Bellini shoes. But yeah, this is really an outfit I need to wear when I'm fake tan, so I'm just going to cover it up with my jacket and pretend I'm actually tan, but I'm not.
don't stop there, Pelican. This is what they come for, Kitlins. So as you would have just seen, we just full drived all the way from the which side of the island? West. West side to the east side. So it's like a really long skinny island, right? So we just went across it. And now we are on the east beach. West. East and, no, east. what? East and beach. <laughs> and mum's taking a selfie out of the sun. Literally no one else here. There's people driving past, but they're driving past really fast, so it's okay. So pretty. Also, it's Tuesday morning now, by the way. My dad's taking a photo of me vlogging. <laughs> Oh, there's some more. Is there more? Oh. 
Bye. Oh no, she's just washing her hands. We're back. We're back in business. No, maybe not. Okay. Bye. So I'm just poking my head inside the car in case it's a bit windy and you guys can't hear me. But um, basically, yeah, we full drive. It was probably about 20 minutes, half an hour through, like literally from one side of the island to the other. And you may have seen me last night, I think it was zooming on the dingo sign. And like today, I think we drove past a couple. But we still haven't seen any dingoes. And there's supposed to be, like there was a certain point when we were going through the bush where it said like dingo territory. And they just like roam free across the whole island. But that was like a specific part where they are. And they often like come out on the beach and stuff too. Because for people that aren't Australian or like don't really know a lot about Fraser Island or don't live in Queensland or whatever, Fraser Island is the only place where like pure bred dingoes, I guess you could call them, um, still exist. Like the pure breed or like species, I guess, of dingo still like live and exist. So it's like a protected island here because obviously it's an island so they can't like crossbreed with any other type of dingo or anything. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure there's only one type of dingo, but the other dingoes that live in Australia in the mainland in like the bush, like the outback, they have like crossbred with like wild dogs and stuff so they're not pure dingo. So they're all like conserved here, like it's like conservation and everything for the dingo species. But we still haven't seen any dingoes. That was the whole point of my story just then. We haven't seen a single dingo. So if I insert a random clip of me going like, oh my God, it's a dingo. That's why, because dingo is like the main attraction of Fraser Island, I guess. Plus the like obviously the beautiful water and everything behind me. But yeah, dingoes are still yet to be seen. I'm sure we'll see some other wildlife too, but we haven't seen anything yet. to have a look in the most doubted places for gluten-free. Got a gluten-free camera slice, which looks like this. If you can see. At, we're, we're at like the same thing as our resort, but on the opposite side pretty much, right? Like a little village with a shop and like yeah. a resort, but on the east well, side of the you're island. Beach resort, you're on the beach resort. You're on the beach resort. And bakehouse apparently with gluten-free camera slice. Wednesday morning now and the last thing I vlogged was yesterday afternoon when we went to Lake Mackenzie so after we drove from the west side of the island to the east side we drove back obviously to the west side but on the way back we went to Lake Mackenzie which is like in the middle of the island I'm just trying to remember if this is right before I explain it to you but yeah that's right so we stopped at Lake Mackenzie which is the footage you just saw it's like a really pretty lake right in the middle of the island and then we just did like 20 minutes more forward driving to get all the way back to the west side to the resort that we're staying at and now it's Wednesday and we're going paddle boarding slash kayaking slash canoeing right now in the ocean what are you picking dad? 
Canoe, Mum. Kayak. Amy. Kayak. And I'm the only one doing set up paddle boarding because I did it like, when did I do it? A school excursion. It was really fun. And that is all. And I won't be able to vlog this either because I don't have a GoPro. And I'm way too, I don't trust my ability to hold this on the stand up paddle board. So I'll see you when we're done, I think. So, Dad, did you want to update the vlog? No. <laughs> you reminded me. We've had tidal issues. Tidal issues. So we have to wait for the tide. We'll give them incorrect information yeah. saying we could go out at low tide, but we can't. We can only go out at high tide. Which so. is kind of common sense, but they know what they're talking about by the chick that told Mum didn't. She was new or something, Mum said. Yes, the young didn't. lady didn't quite have the right tide information, so. so we we'll regroup go. and we'll have a swim at the pool where I'm pretty sure the tide's always in. <laughs> Very good, Dad. I'm impressed. just spent most of the day at the pool and now it's like 3 45 is that right yeah. around about and we just went to the souvenir shop really quick the little shopping village on the island and got this calico bag two dollars fifty cheaper souvenir i can find and then cocoa pops for breakfast in the morning and now we're finally going kayaking slash paddleboarding slash canoeing is that right yes at four o'clock because that's an hour before high tide. Yep. Oh, there you go. Originally, I wasn't gonna vlog dinner tonight because we're just at like the bistro bar place at the resort and like we've been here before and it's nothing special. But Amy just got an absolute haul. Oh my god, she's sorting it out. You know those chocolate misaku machines where you never get anything? What's How much did all of that cost you, Amy? Five dollars. Five dollars. Oh. How many goes? Is that like twelve? Twelve. Oh my god. So they weren't like two dollars each. No, it was literally 50 cents for one or five dollars for 12. I'm like, that's random. Oh, what? 21 oh pieces. Oh my god, 21 chocolate. From that little like, chocolate factory. Ooh. That's honestly the best thing <laughs> I've ever seen. We do this at every restaurant and that's the best you've got ever. I'm so impressed. Thank you. And the food is hard again. Thank you. 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 Thank